hopefully people don't see it as too too random or strange or anything because uh, to me it's pretty clear as to how one part leads into the next but as an outsider just watching it for the first time I can imagine it might be confusing or strange or seemingly random. I mean it's just it's an experimental film. You know the sound design at least for the first section for example is this rhythmic, like, xylophone, um, you know, uh, these, these beats and the syncopation between them, and they, they come together and they conflict and they're off and they're slightly off, and you're like, maybe, to me this represents, you know, you're starting to work on a thought and you're, there's some conflict and you're trying to think of it, and then it comes out and, you know, that's when the music starts uh, making more sense that it, it's together and it's in sync and then we're, we're getting somewhere. Dance, dance, dance. Paint was really interesting on, on the footage. I think it was like fluid motion and having the paint kind of run on and they just kind of represent more abstract themes of, the, of your thought process really. I think I like um, just being by myself when I have all the footage and all the elements and I'm putting it all together, that's when I, you know, I'm really getting to work on it. I'm getting, to, getting the creative juices truly flowing because it's, you know, it's constructing it piece by piece, uh, moment by moment, really. To match an image with the audio, just marry those two things so closely where it's just, you, can't help but be totally entertained the entire time. That's that's what I want to do.